Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Oliver here, bringing you WWE 2K18, my WrestleMania 34 predictions for the pre-show, but this is, of course, in all my predictions, I do com versus com, um, so you have an unbiased filter, but I like to say who I'm going to win, or who I want to win, but more importantly, who do I think to win? is going to win at WrestleMania. So if, if you're new around here, um, don't forget to drop a like and let me know what your thoughts are in the comments section below. But personally, uh, I, I don't know what to think of the Cruiserweight division right now. Um, speaking of like, you know, the pre-show, we're gonna, in this video, we're going to be speaking about the whole of the pre-show um, because we can't do uh, the Andre... The giant battle, uh, the battle royale. We can't do the WrestleMania, uh, battle royale, but we can take a look at this amazing WrestleMania 34 arena. That's what we can do. That's for damn sure. But look at this under the bright lights. The WrestleMania is only five days. Away at the it point of recording this, WWE and this is for the vacant cruiserweight the championship. From Charlotte, North Carolina, weighing in at 200 pounds. I mean, the cruiserweight should be more of a big deal. And I mean, they put on the pre-show of Mania. Of I get that. Making. Whoever wins this will but, forever have their name in WWE. I don't know what to think. I mean, and that's really saying something. The way they keep on going with Mania and the Cruiserweight, I'm glad that they're kind of including it at WrestleMania. But anyway, I will also be providing commentary uh, after I made up my match. But bear in mind, it's all calm versus calm. And his opponent from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in. 182 pounds. So, so I don't know what to make of this cruiserweight right, fight. I'm not too One of these thrilled about it, alright? Um, like, I get, I respect the, any athlete in their own way, but to really sit here well, and say I'm looking forward to this match, I, I prefer last year's like kind of build, Neville and Austin Aries for the cruiserweight title. And you could argue if that delivered to the hype, but I just think them two were, like, better workers' ethic, like, you know, better styles. I'm not saying that these weren't part of a classic, but that's just personally, these are my opinions, and my opinions. If you, you can disagree in the comments, you can dislike this video, you can like the video, you can agree with me, it's all down to an opinion, but that's what the men are fighting for. I was going to say fighting for the gold, but I don't really fight for the gold, though. They're fighting for the silver. Fighting for the vacant cruiserweight championship, which is on the line right there. So let's talk about both men, all right? Both men, Cedric Alexander, has been in the cruiserweight hey, go, for long as I can it's remember. Not, you can guarantee not to mention, made, but that's exactly what's happening you know, here, as the winner of this match will become the new champion. He has yet to really captivate this championship. Can't and I be believe uh, Cedric Alexander it's gotta be hard to can't hold it. One. I think he'll get the crowd behind him. I think this man... Is about ready to capture the title. Uh, Mustafa Ali, I think, needs plushing up a bit. Like, I'm not saying his ring work, don't get me wrong, but I mean, I think just adjusting to the WWE uh, as far as it, that goes. Um, but like He's I said, this is my like opinion. But I think um, I Cedric Alexander will win. Um, because there's a lot more momentum going behind Cedric. Um, I, I also think that Mustafa Ali, like I said, needs to adjust to the WWE locker room a bit. And Cedric has also, when you think about it, in the tournament they had for the vacant, 
He's had the longer matches and the more quote unquote this one in a hurry. what you call cruiserweight opponents, like the recognizable ones and the tougher ones. Like, you know, the only one that really I think would have posed a challenge um, to Mustafa Ali would be Jack Gallagher. Maybe Drew Gallic, but you know, Just if you look at the felt there. match speed, I well think done. they're going with Cedric Alexander, and I don't. I'm not mad at that. I think that's a good choice. I agree with that choice. I think, and give it a year, Mustafa Ali kick. will be in a title picture, even less than a year. But I just think it's Cedric Alexander's time. Cedric Alexander is now in control of the but tempo. let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. You can agree or disagree in the comment section. But anyway, that gets us off that topic. But we're going to talk about, right now, we're going to talk about the only... Uh, and it's reversed. The battle uh, giant, Andre the Giant Memor Memorial Battle he's Royal. There we go. Now. If he's not um, this can snowball out of that's a mouthful. So, a as of the time of recording this, in a bad there's only right been Dash Wilder, Scott Dawson, to stay in uh, Baron Corbin, Mojo Rawley, Ty Dillinger, Matt Hardy, he Dolph Ziggler, Bandango, Tyler Breeze, Goldust, Heath Slate, and Rhino announced in. The memorial battle for Andre the Giant. And out of them, if I had to pick out them to win it, um, I would really have to say they like they like big guys winning. Um, so I would say Rhino would be a huge curveball. I think that could be done. Um, just let's look at it. Cesaro, uh, Big Show, oh, Saw that one coming. Uh, Baron Corbin, he's not so big, but Baron Corbin, and then you got Mojo, so I would say Rhino, out of the oh selection, boy, but in rolling. general, we don't know who's in it, so I can't really guess, but given the selection, guys, I think Rhino will win, he's given what's announced, up, yeah, Perhaps playing a little possum but here, given the Ain't much, no I don't know, but much talked about women's WrestleMania Women's Battle Royal, which I'm hyped for because the women have been pushing it and they've deserved it. They've He'd earned this spot, and I'm glad that there. women's wrestling is goes. getting its own edition. Oh, but look at Cedric Whoa. Alexander now taking in that, taking in that WrestleMania crowd. He should spend time following up, but anyway. Like I said, I think the for the women's WrestleMania Women's Battle Royal and so far, who's been announced? Sasha Banks, the boss, was the first woman announced, but Becky Lynch also has been announced. Liv Morgan, Naomi, Natalia, Ruby Riot, Sarah Logan, Bailey, DDT. Lana, Mandy Rose, and Sonya Deville, and Mickey James. And out of them announced, I really think that it would be count. interesting to see Lorna win. Uh, but since, like, people say she can't wrestle, I'm not one of these guys who is like, oh, she tries, you know? Um, and that's all you can do in life. It's like, seriously? You go right now? She has a go. All right? Oh, but like I said, you're Andrew. Wow. Lombard check are. indeed. Talk about impact, Cole. But out of them selection, I would no, have to say He's either Becky Lynch may not be doing any or Sasha. Favors, I think Sasha, this is not where you like, to be this she's the boss and she Clear says you can bank on it. But let's be honest, let's look at her title reigns. I think it's a great way to make up for her short title reigns. Like, yeah, okay, she's held the title, but she hasn't held it for long period of time and I think she needs some legitimacy but oh but that are my votes for the pre-show let me know what your thoughts in the comments but could this be it for the match one two oh Cedric Alexander kicking out ladies and gentlemen oh Mustafa Ali but let me know what your thoughts are for the 
Cruiserweight title, which you're now this watching. Could be it for him, guys. The Andre the Giant Battle Memorial and the WrestleMania Women's Battle Royal. Let me know who you think. As the time of recording, they're the names who've entered. And that's the names I've got. I, I'm not going to click it name yeah, out no of thin air, but given the selection what we've got I think they're yeah, my options but oh here. look at this Cedric Alexander now we're going to fight up oh look at this this match has lived up to the hype this WrestleMania crowd right is going nuts oh look at Cedric Alexander but I, I do think this match this has an interesting be. style oh but look at that face muscle yeah. indeed that was vicious and there it is, boys. Oh, but now. Ladies and gentlemen. What's going to go on here? Oh. oh yeah, Suplex. He's lining him up. Cedric Alexander looking for it. Lombard check. That's how you put an exclamation point on a oh, match. But, uh, this match, Nova Lights. One, two, three. <laughs> Cedric <laughs> Alexander <laughs> wins this match, but will he win at WrestleMania 34 in five days' time of the time of recording this? Can he claim the vacant Cruiserweight Championship? Let me know in the comments, but if you did like this prediction, please hit a like, share, don't forget to comment. And if you haven't already, for whatever reason, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, turn that bell notification icon on, so you never miss a video or a future prediction. Here is your winner, I've been over the racing, WWE and I'll see you Cedric in the next video. And there's your winner, ladies and gentlemen. Now you just got to take the win and build off it. We may be in New Orleans tonight, but I assure you.